Good morning everybody, it's Michelle here from Dragonfly Spirit and I'm here to bring you your Wednesday rune guidance and today I've added in a couple of crystals as well just to, I love working with crystals so I like to add them in wherever I can. So today I have shuffled my big bag of runes and I have cast them on the board, my beautiful board that was created for me by Kim Drea. And as we can see here, it's actually very interesting. Um, we've only got two different sets of runes here today. We've only got an Elder Futhark, and then we've got two of my own runes, plus then the crystals. So the crystals we have, um, the coloring is not that great on the screen at the moment. Um, my lighting isn't that great, so I do apologize about that. But we have a clear quartz, we have a rose quartz in the center, and we have Amazonite on the edge. So rose quartz in the center is quite interesting because the rose quartz is all about um, healing. It is all about being kind. It is the peacemaker. So right here in the center of your everyday life, you are being called upon to be the peacemaker. You are being called upon to be kind to yourself and to others. So it's going to be interesting to see as we read the other um, ruins how that actually takes into effect because we have a past and a present and clear quartz is all about clear thinking. It is be opening your mind um, to, to receive information and moving forward. So recently you've had to re-look at the way you see things, re-look at the way you think about things. And while doing it, you're needing to be kind to yourself. And then Amazonite in the front here is standing up for what is important to you. So these three actually make a really good little story all on their own. They are saying it is important to clear your thoughts. It is important to re-look at the way you see things. And while you're doing this, in your everyday life, be kind to yourself. And here, to stand up for your beliefs. So those three crystals work together very, very beautifully, and they give a lovely, lovely message. But let's get into what the runes are saying to us. So we're going to start here. We have our, from our unconscious. We're then going to look at our everyday life, and then what spirit have to tell us as well. So down here, we have Wunjo. So coming up from our unconscious is Winjo, and Winjo is all about, oh, excuse me, is all about joy. It is all about finding your inner joy, being optimistic about life, and becoming aware of what your state of mind is. So that plays in quite nicely with the clear thinking and re-looking at the way you see things and think about things. Because here we are being reminded that we're needing to reconnect with our joy. We're needing to re-evaluate what that joy is and becoming aware of where we are in our mind and um, are we allowing joy in? Because here we have um, Al where am I? Algiz, which is a run of um, protection and it is saying to you to um, shine a light on your, and you can see actually it was actually quite interesting because it's actually falling that way and we normally look at, read it this way, but because it is facing down towards the window, it is telling you to shine a light. You can see it looks like a torch. It is telling you to shine a light on what it is that makes you joyful. What is it um, that makes you happy and finding your inner joy. So protecting your mindset and not being um, too negative about things, being kind to yourself at the same time. So Elgis is also all about um, shining a light on your vulnerabilities and seeing where it is that you are feeling vulnerable right now. Why is it that you are not allowing yourself to find your joy? So that is something to think about. I'm not going to read this rune over here. It is um, upside down. I just want to see, oh, how interesting. It all works. Now it all makes sense and works out. Because Rado, even though it's been hidden, it's something that you are not allowing yourself to do. That is why it was upside down. You are not allowing yourself to go on this inner journey, to shine a light on your vulnerabilities so that you can find your joy. So you're not being kind to yourself right now. Um, so this is really, really important for you to remember that this inner journey that you're needing to go on, you're needing to look deep inside you to find your joy. What is it that you are feeling vulnerable about? Where can you find your happiness again? That is um, really, really beautiful. Don't be afraid to shine this light onto your vulnerabilities so that you are able to um, find your joy again. So we've read Amazonite. Here we have Bacana, and Bacana is all about new beginnings. So this is in your everyday life. So this was coming up from your subconscious. So your subconscious is telling you 
that you're needing to go on an inner journey so that you can find your joy. Um, so that's actually really interesting because it then links to Bacana, which is in your everyday life. And Bacana is new beginnings. If you're able to do this, if you're able to find your joy, you'll find that new ideas, new opportunities, new beginnings will present themselves for you. New experiences and experiences that you can grow from and become a better person. And then coupled with that, we have my little, um, my, one of my little words, and that is an arrow going towards the um, right. And it's all about um, protection and being mindful of negative thoughts. So here we've been told to relook at the way we think. We've been told to shine a light on our vulnerability so we can find our joy. And we go be mindful of not thinking negatively. And here we have a TP, which is our home, it is our loved ones, it is our family. We're needing to trust in that. We're needing to ground ourselves in the fact that we are loved and we are supported on our journey. Up at the top here, we have Ansu's. Ansu's is the um, god Odin. And he's all about insight and wisdom and being open-minded and forming your own opinions. And so that's coming from the subconscious. The subconscious is telling you to be mindful of not thinking too negatively. Form your own opinions. Don't allow other people's opinions of you to define who you are. Um, so yes, yeah, shining a light on your vulnerabilities and to find your joy, you might open yourself up to a little bit of negative thinking. So this is telling you to be mindful of that. And just remember that you are not other people's opinions. You are who you are. And you're needing to form your own opinion of who you are. And interestingly enough, it was crossing over the blank row. Now, the blank row is something that doesn't come up very often in readings. Um, I don't know why. Some people don't even use it in their sets. I like to keep it there because it is another link to the unknown. It is a link to our destiny. And it is trusting in a higher power. And the fact that it's coming down from spirit, this is telling you to trust in your higher power. Trust in your knowledge and your intuition that you can form your own opinion, you can stand up for yourself, even though you might be feeling vulnerable, and that will lead you to finding your own inner joy. So today is all about finding your inner joy. I know a few months ago, we also had a, a similar reading about finding your inner joy, but this one has got a little bit more, um, a little bit more information for you, and I hope it actually resonates. It is a beautiful reading. I love the addition of crystals. Please let me know what your thoughts are by popping a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you again tomorrow for your charm reading. Love, light and blessings. Bye-bye.